Hi, I'm Megan, and today we're talking with John about some landscaping tips for buyers. Hi, John. It's nice to have you with us. Hello, Megan. Thanks for the opportunity. So, when a buyer's looking for a home, what should they be looking for in regards to the irrigation system? One thing they should look at is how many stations or irrigation zones there are because that's going to dictate uh, how efficient it is in, in watering. So do we have to turn the system on and sit through it and watch it to make sure it's working? Well, you're turning it on, but you don't have to wait for it to go through a complete cycle. Essentially, there's a manual feature on most irrigation control boxes where you can step, step through the different stations. So turn it on, go outside, take a look and see if there are any sprinkler heads that are not turning, if there are some that are broken and just puddling water around the base of it, or if there are any blocked heads. And then you can step to the next station so you don't have to go through a complete uh, watering cycle. Oh, good. So a, a big shade tree is nice to have, but it makes some people nervous. Are there issues with that buyers should be looking for? Well, first of all, maintain your insurance. Uh, <laughs> but you know, the shade trees provide a great benefit, not only in terms of cooling during the summer months, but also in appearance because it frames the house so it's a lot more attractive. So a lot of people like mature shrubs next to the house. Are there potential issues with that? The biggest concern is when shrubbery is so close to the house that it makes it difficult to get behind the shrub to either wash windows, paint siding, or do any kind of maintenance work that's necessary. So what I usually recommend, if it's going to be a new, you know, if somebody wants to put in some new plantings, is to put them at least two feet from the foundation. That way, even with a mature shrub, you can put a rope around the leaves and branches and pull away from the house so that you can get behind there to do any painting or maintenance that's necessary. Are there any other tips or suggestions you might have for buyers when looking at potential homes? As far as the, the buyer is concerned, landscaping. yeah, the <laughs> landscaping, um, if they if they could request a, a site plan or a landscape drawing be left behind because most of the times we have people come to the nursery seeking identification of a plant and they're waving a branch or a leaf and say what is this so having a site plan or a landscape drawing that uh, the homeowner may have short of that if uh, the homeowners would take a picture of their yards in peak time such as uh, spring when it's all blooming or in the fall when uh, there's a lot of fall color. It has two advantages. First of all, they can show that to a prospective buyer uh, in the winter months when everything's looking pretty bleak. Uh, the other thing is they can annotate those pictures and say, identify the shrubbery that's in there. And that would be also very helpful to the homeowner. That's a great idea, I hadn't thought of that. You've given us some very helpful information and thank you for being with us today, John. You're welcome, Megan. So if you're a buyer looking at homes, You'll definitely want to check out the irrigation system and the mature landscaping. If you have any questions, you know who to contact. We'll be talking to you again soon.